Okay, so I hope you were able to do uh, model number one successfully, and now you're moving on to model number two. Model number one was just replacing the word says um, with something more interesting, using a comma, and then <coughs> the quotation, citing it properly. So number two, it says, a sentence introducing a quotation with the word that, followed by no punctuation. The quotation must be a sentence or a clause with a subject and a verb. Okay, you might run into trouble with that if you have, um, well, let's just read it. To avoid having, a sh having to shift from third person to first person, do not use a quotation that includes, you know, a pronoun, a first or second pronoun, person pronoun, me, mine, my, etc. I think the essential thing here is that followed by a sentence. Let's see what it looks like in practice. Okay. The strain of insanity in Emily's family is foreshadowed when the narrator mentions that old lady Wyatt, her great aunt, had complete had gone completely crazy at last. Again, you've you've got the um, proper citation um, uh, structure there with the parentheses and the punctuation following the parentheses. But notice that you've got the that and no punctuation here. Then your, your quotation in it, your quotation has in it a subject and a verb. Here's your subject, old lady Wyatt, and your verb, you know, had gone, you know, had gone crazy or whatever, had gone. Okay, subject and verb. So let's try it with another example. Here's one from AMP. Sammy quits his job in defiance, hoping that they'll stop and watch me, their unexpected hero. Um, that one has that first person pronoun me in it, but it works because um, he is thinking this, hoping. He's the one hoping, yeah? Okay, so again, you have the that, right? No punctuation here, hoping that, quote, they'll stop and watch me. You've got your subject and your verb. You've got your subject, they, and your verb will stop and, and watch, you know, me, their unexpected hero, and it's properly cited like that. Okay, no punctuation here, just the quotation marks. All right, does that one make sense? I don't think that one's very hard either. So numbers one and two are pretty easy. Keep going, good luck.